amongst every other thing we have. Cows, wrappers, bags of rice, clothes, food, all manner of items that we have here. Enough for everyone. Food to eat now, food to take home, cash gifts and all of that. Amongst all those items, one item, hallelujah, one item, one of the gift items can make you also stand here to reach out to people massively, which is the Bible. I'm going to give this Bible to everyone, but first of all to the people that just gave their lives to Christ. I would like to let you know that this book, hold on, we have more than enough. Hold on. This book changed my life. This book is the manual of life. You know the same way you buy a phone, it's your phone. Phone I am way fed in the Apple manual. But where they use well. This is the manual for life. Everything is in this book. And as I hand this book over to you, the people in front, they will have it distributed also. We have more than enough. It will change your story in the name of Jesus. You will not drop this book as I place it in your hands. You will never drop it. In the name of Jesus. Your story in the name of Jesus. You will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus. You will not need any alternative in the name of Jesus. You will destroy the kingdom of darkness with this book in the name of Jesus. This book will change your story in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' own challengeable name, we are praying. Amen. Thank you very much. Um, it's not a practice that we started today. Like you heard the lady from Plato. It's a practice that we've practiced for over 12 years today. And um, for me, it's a direct inspiration from God. Um, like uh, the other speaker said, this money would have been used for other things. But I'm not ignorant of the fact that these are very trying times and that life is not all about you or the impact that you have in the lives of people. Life is not all in the duration on how long you live, but the donation you make to your society. Not how long, but how well we have lived our life. And we have decided that we want to make an impact by the message of God with the little time we have on earth to make an impact, touch lives. That's why today I'm extremely excited that we uh, reach out to almost all the all the uh, orphanage homes in a number of uh, We also have the prison outreach going on. Uh, we have uh, the widows from all the churches, Catholic churches, uh, the Catholic church, the Anglican church, and uh, all other uh, denominations here. Yeah. It gives me so much joy to see lives transformed, especially with the young, uh, our youth. Because you'll find out that um, during people only reach out when they want to use these people for things. It gets to political times, you use them and keep damaging them and we complain about the decadence in the society. But we want to gather them to show them love, show them that we love them. And more importantly, like I said, the gift we give them today, the Bible. That is the manual of the movie. Everything here, all the wrappers, the food stuff, the money, it will finish. But there is one thing that won't run out. The word of God that we're giving to them today. And more importantly, they are living with the presence of God. We've had an amazing time in God's presence this morning. All manner of ministrations, all manner of encounters. And um, we return all the glory to God. 
and all that he's doing and um, pray for more opportunities for God to empower us to be able to do more. Thank you. Uh, the one we also want uh, the one uh, the one was the segment of this celebration was the call for young people to give their life to Christ. What informed also what is the significance of that this particular segment? You would agree with me that um, if our young people are not properly mentored, they go astray. We live in very dangerous times today, in the age of social media, where all manner of rubbish is shown. And you hear young people pick up all manner of vices. They've seen people doing things and they want to do all those things. I want to thank God for people like Dr. Maruka Koscharis that can that will also show people that you can also be successful and be disciplined. And that God is the only way. When our young people begin to embrace God at this tender age, I'm dropping will reduce. All these attacks will reduce. When our young people embrace Jesus, they will begin to find their part. The prisons will be empty. We will not have police pursuing people. So this is very important. Like the last time we hosted the Access Mall with Stanel, training the people in different capacities. If you notice the kind of people that are here, they are also very different from the people that we hosted the last time. So when we continue doing this, letting people know that there is more to life than flamboyants. And also, we are beginning to lose our culture as Igbos. Those days where young people would want to go and go and serve and become something. Nobody wants to serve anymore. All the billionaires in Igbo land today were all servants. They all learned. The Ibetos, the Kostaris, the Chikasin, they all serve. But now this social media quick win. Everybody wants to own your natural boutique. Everybody without knowing that there is a process. So that is part an example, one of the major reasons we set up this for people to see that indeed with God all things are possible and that He is the doer of all good things. Thank you. Your message to the beneficiaries are really with the items here. That was as you go home with all the items, one thing you shouldn't forget is that everything you have seen today was powered by God. And don't forget the Bible that was given to you, that I said it is the manual for living. Everything will finish, but that will never ever finish. Thank, Thank you. you. Baby. Stanley is a great person. Well, Fad, he did wonders today. I appreciate uh, Dr. Stanley for what he has done.